Hi. When I was young, all I wanted to do was play football. And I could not understand why anyone else didn't feel the same way. My brother, for instance, he grew up younger than me, but he never wanted to play football with me. We lived in the countryside, so there wasn't too many other young lads around to kick the ball around with, but my brother just didn't want to know. He would much rather be off helping my father mend a fence or repairing a broken pipe or making a new wheel for a wheelbarrow. Many years on, I can't understand why people of my age don't want to be engaged in gardening, why they don't want to have that great satisfaction of hoeing through a border of weeds on a sunny day with the wind blowing and seeing those weeds just fade away before your eyes, or why they, the joy of digging over a vegetable garden in the winter and seeing the, the upturned clods of earth break down under the, under the influence of the frost, the wind, and the rain. But I've got a friend who falls into that category. I've known him for many years, and I can honestly say I've never known him come into the kitchen with his lovely wife and say, darling, look at this bunch of carrots I've just grown, or look at this beautiful big onion, or this stonky great parsnip. He has never had the occasion to, to, to do that. I'd like to introduce you to my friend Paul. Hi, Paul. Good evening. How are you doing? So, Paul, you know, you're, you're a little bit younger than me, but, you know, you have a similar vintage, shall we say. But you've never, ever been engaged in gardening. Why would that be? You, you've got a, a large acreage, shall we say, that you own. You could easily, you know, cultivate the soil in, in that sort of way. Why haven't you ever got in, get involved in gardening? I'm just well, in, interested to know. Well, as a farmer, we've got these several acres, and we think, why just mess around maybe with a tenth of an acre when we've probably got a couple hundred acres where we've got cows to graze it, sheep, lots of mowing to do, and just to go out and spend like an hour or two hours just in this tenth of an acre, which you just grow such a small amount, you know. Um, I think gardening is great if you work in an office or you want it for a therapy, you know, to go out and, you know, where you maybe be shutting a little box or Do you, do you or think I need therapy, do you? Um, well, I guess like you, you, never do, actually mentioned it you before. do practical work, but I mean, we just seem like it's just not producing, a quarter, tenth of an acre just isn't going to produce huge amounts, you know. We, we used to till Swedes, but then the same again, we till five acres, and you think well, that's plenty. You, you do, you can grow five acres of one a thing, sell them and buy everything in the garden rather than just do 20 different items. So you're saying that gardening's not worthwhile both on the financial side of things, as well as on the, you know, the emotional and the, and the sort of therapeutic side of things. You just think it's a, a waste of time. I'm sure probably when I get to retire and maybe not do so much farming, then I think I could maybe do some gardening and something a bit different then to what I'm doing now. But at the moment, you know, you, you get out, you milk cows, you do lots of jobs, then you're tired in the last and you want to go is do a bit of gardening, really. I see. So I've not been very successful over the years in convincing you of the, the merits of, of, of gardening? Um, well, I've got to admit, when you do taste some of your lovely fresh fruit, you can definitely taste it's better than what you buy in a supermarket. It's definitely, you know, it has got a real good taste, but it's just finding the time to just do this tiny little spots of gardening and lots of variety. You know, you go out and hoe, then you got to come in and do it. It's like, seems very time consuming for, you know, the amount you really grow. I see, Paul. I, I, I'm sorry you feel this way, but hey, that's the way it is. We're all different, aren't we? And I, I just like to, you know, hope in a few years' time that Paul will see the error of his ways and will take up his hoe and his fork and his spade and will, you know, really bless your wife by bringing in freshly grown produce from your garden. So we can't win them all, but thank you, Paul, for your, your time. Thank you.